The venue is a convention centre. Parliament itself not spacious enough to accommodate members of both lower and upper houses in a joint sitting. And the first action of the newly elected representatives to summon the Prime Minister and members of his government to answer questions about alleged political interference in the controversial trial of non-governmental organizations. I want to emphasize that this trial cannot be ended by a political decision under any conditions, and the final say in the trial should belong to the Egyptian judiciary and not to any other entity regardless of its nature. The NGO trial had been adjourned shortly after beginning, but then the judges removed themselves from the case, subsequently citing political interference as the reason. A few days later, the travel ban on foreigners charged in the case was lifted, following sustained U.S. pressure, and most of the U.S. citizens involved left Egypt on a late-night charter flight. Their departure provoked a storm of public outrage and a formal protest from Egypt's judges about political interference in the justice system. Parliament is accurately reflecting public anger. At the same time, it's flexing its muscle, signaling its belief that the government should be held accountable by the elected representatives of the people, as should the military rulers, if they are shown to be in any way connected with interference in the NGO trial. A new trial is now set to begin with a new panel of judges within the week, and it's been made quite clear by Parliament that this time there will be no overt political involvement allowed. Mike Hanna, Al Jazeera, Cairo.